and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometres on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. just sit there gawping at me. Basically this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run so you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. 
There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia, and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain, and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb, and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Swift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. 
I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube. While we're getting everything ready, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Live YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run and also Twitter at Film My Run and the website is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, don't forget to drop me a ride on and watch me do all the hard work. starting but we're on now um, forgot a few things and also I've got a problem with my table so it has to be behind me at the moment which is not good if I need the uh, keyboard oh good evening Steve Smith yeah I haven't got any coffee now <laughs> for obvious reasons so um, I've left the coffee indoors uh, but I've moved the table because the table um, was in the, in the way. So, uh, yeah, it was a problem. So we just have to catch everybody up now. Hello, Neil. Uh, hello, Ian James. Hello, Tina Beard. Hello, Kim. Salt. So let's just try and catch them all up. It 
It's the Pack Social 5K, by the way. So it's five kilometers. And uh, I'm going to do one more after that just to make up my distance to 10K for the evening. I've just done four kilometers. So uh, do another six now. catch up and then we can ease off even more there they are up ahead look nearly there who's got hot pink shorts me Oh yes, of course. Um, I've got my uh, Zwift Tour de Zwift kit on, haven't I? Yeah, we can wear that for a few uh, a few days. Okay, nearly time to chill out. We've done the catch. So, who have we got here? Chris Beal, Carol Rushworth, Ryan Downey, of course, Clive Finnimore. Hansen, we've got Kam Kamarata, Kamarata, Kamarata. I always get that wrong. Ingram, Carpenter, Timber. <laughs> I was a bit late. I apologise. Uh, Steve Smith says he enjoyed this morning. Uh, Film my run 500 was awesome, says Neil. I was sweating like a pig this morning. <laughs> uh, Tina Bid says so did she. Afterwards, she enjoyed uh, the climb once she'd finished, which is always the way, isn't it? I may have been a little bit late. Uh, Jean's going to join us when his treadmill gets fixed. Uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, Jean. So, film my run 500 is every Tuesday morning and every Thursday morning. UK time, 9.35. Europe time, 10.35. Uh, if you're in America, you are going to have to get up very early in the morning to come and join us, I'm afraid. So we've done a kilometre, we've got four to go. I'm going to add on one more at the end just for fun. <sighs> Tina, have you got like a noise on your treadmill? So as the belt goes round, there's like a rumble. Every, every revolution of the belt, is there a little rumble? Uh, 
right yet. Kim Salt is fast asleep during the film My Run 500. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was the only sensible time. It, well, well, the reason I did it at that time was because that is the time I had been doing it on my own before I made it into an event. Okay, so that's interesting then. And does it distract you? I've been wondering about this. Is it distracting you? And I'm wondering if there's any way you can fix it. Excuse me. Might be worth contacting support to see if uh, they know about the that sound. Um, I have a confession to make. I am simultaneously running on Zwift, live streaming to you guys, and watching the football on my iPhone. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Oh, it doesn't bother you, okay. If it doesn't bother you, that's absolutely fine. I was just wondering, um, whether it was bothering anybody, that's all. I'm going to have to ask Adam if it bothers him. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, top, top multitasking going on. They say men can't multitask. Well, what is this? What is this quality multitasking? I am simultaneously running, live streaming, and watching the football. Full stop. That is quality multitasking. Uh, Leo says, I couldn't be asked running today. <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> Jonathan's not impressed with me watching football. What kids? Question mark. Monica says Stephen can multitask. <laughs> what, yeah, Ryan, what kids are you talking about? I'm not aware of any kids. There are some small people that keep walking around the house. Do you mean those small people that keep walking around the house and asking for food? Question mark. Sad middle class men and their football. Lower lower middle class oiks and their football. <laughs> okay. So three kilometers to go. Two kilometers done. Uh, this is the Pack Social 5K, uh, organised by Ryan Downey who is our run leader today. And we've got Lucerna with us as well. He's a regular, so that's good. Um, for some reason, I'm falling behind, even though I'm going at 10.2. Let's just catch up a bit. Oh, 
Oh, all right, Tina, Tina be it. Not working class, come on. Hey, hey, bump me up a bit in the social strata. I, middle, lower middle class, I'll have you know. <laughs> Low, lower middle class. This is not a working class accent. It's a lower middle class. Mind you, my dad would be absolutely adamant that we were working class. From, uh, from Liverpool. But you know, I like, I like to think we've jumped up one level of the social strata here in the UK. I like to consider myself lower middle class. Uh, George Oxley says, when do you think Zwift running will have as many events going on as cycling? Oh gosh, two, three years. We are still a, a way behind cycling. We are, we are years behind cycling. Um, in terms of what we get. Have you seen, by the way, has everybody seen the interview with Craig? Um, oh, for God's sake, why can't I remember his name? Why can't I remember? With Craig, anyway, for goodness sake, why can't I remember his name? Leo's working class. Good for you, buddy. Uh, Victoria doesn't care what class we are. Well, neither do I, really. Well, no, I do actually. No, I want to be posh. I wish I was upper class and posh. <laughs> Senior, mo yeah. Well, what is his name? Craig. What's the what the hell's his name? Anyway, have you seen the interview with him, uh, which uh, Herbert Crabell has posted on his Swift Runners page? Uh, very worthwhile having a look at. <laughs> Jonathan Cost says, uh, Vic Vic Victoria, you obviously don't care about class having married him. That is low, that is. What a low blow. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ryan Downey is advising turning on some Brian Ferry, apparently. No, definitely not Craig Hatt, Tina. Definitely not Craig Hatt, no. Uh, could be Revel Hallwood, yes, I like it. Uh, Craig Taylor, thank you, Victoria. Why couldn't I remember his name? Anyway, Craig Taylor, who is the growth marketing boss of running and triathlon uh, on Zwift. And there is a, there's an interview with him posted on the Zwift Runners Facebook page today. If, uh, if you want to go and read that, do so. It's, uh, it's interesting reading. Especially, I thought, when he said, um, it's, we have no plan, no current plans to start charging a subscription for Zwift, if ever. Zwift running, that is. If, and he said, if ever. So there is a the minor possibility in there that they may keep for 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 the foreseeable future they may keep Zwift running completely free so very interesting uh, Neil says when I send messages on Zwift why does it sometimes crash the whole game um, well how are you sending them Neil if you're sending them with a computer keyboard Sometimes I've had that where I've pressed the keyboard and I've kind of mashed the keys a bit and it does cause a conflict in the game and the game crashes. That's what happened um, a few years ago when I was doing a marathon on Zwift and I was trying to get my marathon badge because the, mar the badges had all just come in. So I had already done a marathon on Zwift but had not got my badge so I thought right I'm going to get my badge and I did this marathon on Zwift and I got to like 41 kilometers, even further than that, 41 and a half kilometers into this marathon. And I picked up my keyboard to type something and the whole game crashed on me. It was a nightmare. The video is still on the internet if you want to go and ever check that out. Just scroll right through to the end. Um, so if you are using a keyboard, then um, it can crash, yes, it, you can kind of confuse the system. If you're using an iPhone, 
on the, on Zwift Companion app, then it, it shouldn't it shouldn't crash. It shouldn't crash anything. With your iPhone, okay. Well, I, then I don't see how it could do that, Neil. I don't see how typing a message on your phone could crash the game. Oh, hang on a minute, but are you also using Zwift on your phone? Are you typing in-game, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Jonathan is continuing the, the class and the rank discussion. So, yeah, I suppose that's the question. If, if, I'd, if I had been in the army in the First World War, would I have been an honest Tommy or <laughs> would I have been a sergeant? I think I think we all know the answer to that, don't we? Deep down, we all know. Would I have trained at Sandringham um, or would I have just been drafted in from a bar somewhere? Uh, Victoria, I think you'll be all right for uh, conversations about air conditioning from now until the summer. When we get back to the summer, when it's really hot, then, we, then we'll probably start talking about aircon again. Um, unless we have another very cold spell between now and the summertime. But I'm hoping it will generally just get warmer from now on. Sandhurst even, not Sandringham. Sorry, Sandhurst. Thank you. See, that's why... That's why. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Exposed again. Exposed as a nowhere near the class I wish I was. <laughs> okay, one mile to go of the uh, Pack Social 5K. Okay, Neil, if you're using Zwift on the iPhone and you're trying to type a message as well, then yes, I think sometimes you typing can, can confuse the system um, and it, it can freeze and crash. Yes, too many things going on at once for it to deal with, I think. Right, why, camera seven, what's camera seven going on about? Why is Ryan Downey talking about camera seven? Or the view of Mr. Cousins, oh I see, okay. Yeah, camera seven would be quite good for that. Or just go to zero on the keyboard and do your left and right keys and up and down keys, and that's the drone view. So if, you, if you're running Zwift on a PC, you've got the option for drone view. So press zero on your keyboard. Everyone's got a keyboard, Ryan. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me everyone hasn't got a keyboard. Yes, they have. Everyone has a keyboard. It might be plugged into a different device. There you go, Jonathan. Victoria would have been married, would have been an officer in the admin trade and married the sapper below her. Uh, the sapper being me, obviously. <laughs> I'll 
plug you in in a minute. Tina B doesn't have a keyboard. What do you type? How do you type on your laptop then, Tina? Right, Ryan very childishly sticking his tongue out at me now, like a five year old. Okay, we are nearly up to uh, one kilometre to go. Um, so I will be joining the after party for one kilometre as well. Just for a bit of fun. Uh, Jonathan Cost has a coffee-free keyboard, uh, which unfortunately I do not. Uh, did you, have you happened to see my coffee incident this morning, Jonathan? So um, my table that I often have on the left here, um, I was um, putting my coffee on the table and then I started my treadmill and I raised the incline of my treadmill up to 12%, as we always do on a Tuesday morning. Unfortunately, I didn't realise that my table was trapped underneath the treadmill leg. And as the incline went up, it basically crushed the table leg. And, and as I started running, the coffee basically just fell everywhere. All over my treadmill, all over the floor, all over my keyboards so i had to jump off the treadmill run into the kitchen get a tea towel mop everything up and uh, by then the rest of the uh, the rest of the film my run 500 climbers were all meters away 500 meters or so away i had to go and find them catch them up um, and yeah the floor is still sticky as we speak Oh, Jonathan actually watched me running with my coffee sloshing all over the place. Yeah. Well, there you go. It was a little bit annoying, to say the least. Uh, Leo has finally, after all these years, got the hang of me. He says, you are a proper disaster, mate. Yes. Yeah. I think everyone else on the stream the only reason everybody else watches this stream buddy is because they know that already and they're just waiting for the disasters to happen the next disaster the next fatality to happen um uh, sarah jacobson used to regularly tune in just for that alone and would regularly tell me so as well Victoria, don't tell everybody that as well. Uh, optional sprint coming up. I'm not going to do that. But I will do an extra kilometre at the end. Kim Salt says, we have our bingo cards out every run. Yep. Um, if you uh, were part of the um, Make Humanity Great Again Eddie Izzard runs, you'll know there were so many disasters and I was on for so many hours every day um, that uh, eventually people started uh, creating their own bingo cards with tick boxes or crosses for every disaster that happened. Uh, whether I got lost, whether I spilled coffee, whether I choked on a mince pie, um, also, whether I got more than 300 ride-ons, that kind of thing. So it was quite amusing and enjoyable for everyone else. Made the time pass. Uh, Neil, yeah, Tina is right, really. If you, can, if you can run the companion app on a different device, and then you'll be able to type and it won't crash your game. Really, the Zwift screen on your iPhone you want to turn it on and just leave it and not touch it because you do risk crashing everything um, 
on, on an iPad or an iPhone if you keep touching the screen. It shouldn't happen, but it just does. And it's just one of those things you have to deal with. So if you can um, type on the Zwift Companion app on a different device, that will help you a lot. Uh, Steve Smith, you are not the first one to suggest um, a Tommy Tippy cup for me. Uh, Chris Beal from Here We Are Running and Film My Run. I got, just got a shout out from Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Come and join us on Friday for the video 5K at 8.05 p.m. UK time. Search in the companion app. Until next time, says Ryan, stay Zwifty. That is the 5K done and dusted. I'm just gonna do one more kilometer. Just to make it up to 10K for the evening. And that'll be 14K for the day. So it's quite often a bit of an after party here. Uh, people just run on a bit further. See, now I have to get off the treadmill. Oh, actually, no, I don't, do I really? Because that just that'll just go away, won't it? Stay here, look. I should I should make a blooper reel of, of film my run videos. You're right. <laughs> Okay, let's just push it to 11, get this uh, final kilometre done. <laughs> Paul Haywood's with us. Lucerne is still there. Chris Beale's still there. Uh, so the next time we'll be on will be tomorrow night, Wednesday evening, Wednesday workout. We will be going hard, trying to get into zone four, zone five tomorrow evening. <clears throat> so join us around 7.30 UK time tomorrow night for Wednesday workout, a hard interval session tomorrow. Yes, Leo. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Cheers, Steve. Steve Mill. Thanks a lot, buddy. Nice. Leo says, Zone 5, my favourite. I think you live in Zone 5, don't you? Leo definitely lives in Zone 5. Like I live in Zone 2. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, sorry, I've just seen that message from Neil. Thank you, Jonathan, for replying. Yeah, when you load the companion app, when you've got it loaded into the game and linked with the game, you will see a messages tab. Uh, there is no messages tab unless you are logged into the game. And remember, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So the Zwift companion app and the Zwift game on the other device need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. And then once you've logged onto the Zwift companion app, it should recognize that you have Zwift running on the same Wi-Fi network. And it will change the screen and there will be a messages tab for you to use. <laughs> And Kim Salt explaining it as well there. <laughs> so 300 meters to go, just over a minute's worth of running. <laughs> And uh, we'll call it a day. Right on. Hunter, thank you. <clears throat> uh, Steve Smith, what are you going to go for? If you get a new treadmill, what would you go for? Hello, Adam. Nice. Thirty seconds. Thank you, boys and girls. See you all tomorrow. <laughs> oh, mate, that's a proper northern dinner, isn't it? Shepherd's pie followed by dessert, trifle and ice cream. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Alexi Lightning, thanks for the ride on. Right, we're done. We are done here. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, nil nil between Liverpool and Leipzig in the Champions League uh, last 16 first leg, if you're interested. And um, I'm going to go in and have a shower or a bath, and we'll see you tomorrow. I'll go out for a run in the morning, and then I'll see you for Wednesday workout tomorrow evening. Uh, thanks again for watching. Thanks for the chat. Been lots of fun on the chat there. Uh, well, I have mostly cleared up the coffee spill, Kim. It's just a little bit sticky. Maybe I need to get the mop and just do the floor over once. And uh, that'll get rid of it. Okay. Take care, folks. See you tomorrow. <laughs>